Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now December 19th of 2020 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2, a lot of fans have really been reunited within the Star Wars fandom ever since the very end of the sequel trilogy by Disney and Lucasfilm divided the fan base further. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the deal with, of course, you know, John Favreau, Dave Filoni, and George Lucas is that they have a mission, and that mission is to deliver and produce as much authentic Star Wars material as possible for the fans to enjoy. You know, we're going to get this with the Book of Boba Fett miniseries, as well as Mando Season 3 and 4, the Ahsoka Tano show, and, of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's just to name a few. A lot more shows are coming our way, as well as new movies and trilogies that are currently in the works that are going to be more so announced in 2021, so keep an eye open for that. Now, what's really exciting about the future of Star Wars is that they are primarily focused on many of their key characters. We're talking about Ahsoka, Luke, Anakin, Ezra Bridger, and others out there that's going to really be quite expansive for this new universe. Overall, the Disney CEO, Bob Chapek, has one goal in mind, to make Star Wars as expansive as the current Marvel Cinematic Universe. And that's exactly what they're shooting for. That's what they're modeling it after. Whether or not that's a mistake to some fans, I don't know. But I think it's a good move by Disney to tell you guys the truth. So, with that being said, given that The Mandalorian Season 2 is now over, Disney and Lucasfilm are now focused on their new universe and the key characters within the Star Wars franchise. It's described that currently Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are working on the character of Ezra Bridger for The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4, and that they are planning to have him become a part of Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy in the new universe. It's described that Favreau has plans for both Grogu and Ezra Bridger to eventually meet in The Mandalorian Season 4, which is already in the early works as we speak. Actor Mina Massoud from the Aladdin live-action movie will play Ezra in the form of his younger self for flashback sequences during his time in the Unknown Regions. As well as an unknown actor, a second actor playing Ezra is actually said to take the role of the older version of that character that will be based after the escapes from the Unknown Regions. Now, it's described that the Unknown Regions is set to actually cause both Thrawn and Ezra to have a slightly different design once they escape from a specific world in the Unknown Regions in the galaxy that will have a dramatic impact on how time works in Star Wars. Now, Grogu is set to become a part of Luke's Jedi Academy in the new canon with Ezra and other new Jedi in training that will be unveiled in 2021 and 22. So let's stop right there for a second. Now, the thing about Ezra and Thrawn, this is going to be a very interesting transition, is that what they're aiming for is that they're aiming to have a hero and a villain to forcefully engage in a alliance. That to me is going to be a very interesting angle of Star Wars that we haven't seen all that much in the form of live action. I think personally it's going to be a very interesting shift within the Star Wars franchise. You know, a lot of fans have always been wondering what in the world happened to Ezra after Rebel Season 4 ended when he went into hyperspace, nowhere to be found, and that was it. Same exact thing for Thrawn, right? So, we can obviously tell that Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, these two great creators working along with Lucas, have that mission in mind to also do something incredible with Grogu, having him interact with Ezra Bridger and become a part of Luke's Jedi Academy as well as Ezra. Now, this could very well give us a glimpse as to what may happen to Ezra Bridger. As we all see in The Last Jedi, if you look very close, there's a lot of dead bodies on the ground, uh, at least in, you know, one of the trailers of the movie. I'm not quite sure if they digitally erased it out of the final cut of the film, not sure about that. But, there are bodies on the ground if you look close, and it's very well possible that this could very well explain the fate of Ezra Bridger. Now, given in the comics for The Last Jedi adaptation, it shows Luke's new generation of Jedi with Ezra nowhere to be found. It could very well be that this is Jon Favreau's way of retconning aspects of The Last Jedi and really adding in more details to the movies 
and kind of just reshaping the current Canon material. Whether or not that's a good move all depends on how it's going to be executed and everything related to that. Now, a live action Thrawn is coming our way aside from other projects, but mainly he's going to make his major debut in the Ahsoka Tano series. So that is going to be the focus. They're looking to make Thrawn the Thanos of Star Wars, essentially. You know, what Thanos is, what Thanos is in the MCU, they want to make Thrawn like that in the Star Wars universe. That, to me, is almost like a little bit of a spin on the Thrawn trilogy from Star Wars Legends. It's almost like they're going that route, right? So, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.